Hi, this is Bill Hintz from e and I'm going to be doing a series of kind of tips and tricks um, for various auto, Siemens automation products. And um, one of the things I'd like to talk about today is um, involves the TIA portal. Those of you not familiar with it, TIA portal is where Siemens uh, programs most of the uh, automation products uh, for a any project, um, PLCs, HMIs, uh, drives, networking, all that stuff is done in one project. Um, one thing though that Siemens has always done pretty well is the actual concept of using libraries. And libraries save us time in that when we do repetitive tasks, we can actually save that effort from a prior project and then save it on a server or on a hard drive and then bring it into a future project without having to uh, retrace all of our steps. So for example, I've got here a uh, new project. It's got a uh, middle of the range Siemens 1500 PLC in it. And let's talk a little bit about the way these things um, actually configure. So I'm gonna add some IO to this project, put in a digital input module and maybe an analog input. And analog inputs especially have configurations that we can do to actually uh, change the signal types that go into different channels and so forth. So if I pop open the uh, properties of the analog input module, you'll see what the first thing they give us is, is called a template. So if I, if I use this template, that allows me to just one time set up um, diagnostic conditions, the voltage levels uh, for the analog input and so forth. And that will propagate throughout all of the four channels on this module because they're coming from that template. But oftentimes what we have are a mixed uh, bag of signals. And for example, if, if we have a standard configuration for a PLC that we want to actually use over and over again, um, we go ahead and configure that, and I'll make the um, third and fourth channels of this analog input make the use 4 to 20 milliamp, for example. And with 4 to 20, we can check for wire break. Um, I'll do the same thing on channel 3 instead of the template. We go to manual, and instead of voltage, we'll go to current. And let's just say, for example, that this is a configuration that we will be using on all of our base machines. Maybe we have some machines that have additional features and so forth, but this would be included on all of the machines that we build. Uh, this is where the concept of a library comes in. And what I'll do is I'm going to create a library. And I mentioned that libraries can actually, in this case, it'll exist on my C drive. I'll just call it hints. And it's going to create a library. And this is external to this project. So it's going to be saved, and I can pull it in from any project. And what happens with a library, I can actually create master copies of different devices. And that can also be software. It can be um, drives, it could be, you know, if you've got networking devices, you're configuring switches and so forth. But in this case, I'm going to take the PLC that we just configured and just drag it and drop it over into my library. And you'll see now I have this PLC one in the library. So for example, we start a new project in the future. And I'm not even going to save this one. And so now we have a new project, but rather than having to duplicate the effort that I just did earlier on the last project, I can now just grab that PLC from the library, drag it in, and add it to my new project. And now my hardware configuration is already done. So these are the common tips and tricks that you're going to be seeing more short videos. Um, hopefully you find this useful. If you need to get in touch with us and dig a little deeper, give us a call at e m at 866-693-2636. And once again, my name is Bill Hintz. Thanks.